It was the video that outraged a nation, showing Ahmad Arbery, who is black, shot to death while jogging in Brunswick, leading to murder charges against three white men who are scheduled to go on trial next month. But investigators, including then-Brunswick DA Jackie Johnson, had that video months before it surfaced publicly. Why didn't she prosecute then? Now she's in trouble. A Glynn County grand jury just indicted Johnson for felony violation of oath of office. And also for a misdemeanor, she's accused of ordering police not to arrest the suspected trigger man, Travis McMichael, who is the son of Greg McMichael, a longtime employee of the DA's office. It is not her job to tell them what to do or what not to do. Atlanta attorney and 11 Alive legal analyst Paige Pate says the indictment also accuses Johnson of breaking the law in the way that she then got the case transferred to another DA, Waycross DA George Barnhill. Barnhill had already concluded that the suspects had acted in self-defense and he did not intend to prosecute them. I think it was clear that she did want to keep the McMichaels from being charged and that by directing it to a DA who she thought would basically share the same idea as she had about the case would keep them from getting charged. Arbery's mother and the family's attorneys have said from the beginning that authorities tried to cover up the crime. It's just total corruption. Johnson emailed us last year, calling it all false accusations to make excuses and ignore the problems at the Glynn County Police Department. We were not able to reach her for comment on the indictment against her. But I do believe her intent was wrong. Now, whether it's criminal, that'll be up to a judge and a jury.